What do you remember from one of the most famous fairy tales Snow White? Evil Queen? The Prince Charming? Well, as a fan of the Disney movies, the most impressive thing for me is the song that the Seven Dwarfs sang. I guess you remember clearly, the lyric goes, You're never told to be on, you're never told to be on. Though your teeth are all in your whiskers sprout, you're never told to be on. However, at that time, as a four-year-old kid, I must admit that I was totally confused. Never told to be young? Sounds like a self-contradictory. And it was then that I realized my first connection between me and the concept of age. The fairy tales are always fairy tales. The reality, however, is cruel. Today, we'll go straight to the damages caused by ageism. Next, how ageism connects everyone in this room. And lastly, we will rewrite the story of ageism and erase it as said of Egypt. But before starting, we need to know what ageism is. Well, by definition, ageism is the prejudice against an individual strictly based on their age, and is most often the best prejudice against older individuals. Okay, so now getting prepared, we have a question for you. What's everyone in this room going to be one day? Older. However, most of us can't face the truth of getting older, and this is where I realized my second connection between me and the concept of age. Recently, my mom had just celebrated her 40th birthday for the third time. So did my female relatives and friends. A voice to talk about one's age has become a trend, a culture, making our age a mystery. So, what makes this simple case of getting older this horrible? It is ageism. Age stereotypes are false connections towards the concept of age. So, connection number one. How do we describe old people? Sad, stubborn, upset, grumpy? Well, I used to believe that old people are depressed because they're going to die sooner than us. However, proved by the scientific research of the youth curve of happiness, it turns out that the older the people are, the happier they can be. So we can break this stereotype easily. Connection number two. Old people can't learn new things. One question. Can your grandparents use mobile phones? Mobile phones came out during the later years, for sure. However, most of them can still use the basic functions of the world. My grandma is always busy publishing her new albums in WeChat moments, and my grandpa is always busy devoting himself to his own TikTok account. The thing is, it's not even true for animals like dogs. You can still teach old dog tricks, right? Talking about age, it's such a tragedy to see that Stereotypes sound so ubiquitous. Our world is dragging and toiling forward with tons of stereotypes. Except ageism, we have sexism, racism, so on and so forth. Age divides us into different categories instead of uniting the whole human crowd to overcome the challenge of isms. And now, let's take a look back at all those stereotypes. All of them are being well known, all of them are being widespread, and all of them are wrong. You might be confused why am I a 15 year old teenager standing here talking about problems that sound so far away from me. This is because everyone in this room, including everyone in this world, including me, is going to be old one day. So why not act actively instead of waiting passively? See what we can do to embrace aging then adventure. First, someone's always saying it's too late for me. Well, I will have you to imagine this scenario together. You are invited to a bike trip by your friend, and unluckily, you don't know how to ride a bike. You say to yourself, it's too late for me to learn. But notice the idea, you take out your bike immediately and start practicing around the neighborhood. The lesson here is simple. If you find out yourself thinking it's too late for me, then just stop thinking about it, but do something about it. If ideas are the poison, then action to be the antidote. Second, someone's always saying the best part of me is behind. Well, I would say, if you believe that the best of you is behind, then it's probably gone forever. Do you have any unique strengths, great ideas, special skills, etc.? Let's just make a list of them and stick it somewhere easy to notice. You can also make up an adventure story of yourself, be the hero of your life, and just keep encouraging yourself that you still have a long way to go to explore. For what it's worth, it's never too late. Or in my case, too early. To be whoever you want to be, there's 
there's no time limit. So just start whenever you want. You can change or stay the same. I hope we see things that startle us. I hope we feel things that we never felt before. I hope we live a life that we're proud of. And if we find out we're not, I hope we all have the strength to start all over again, start all over again. Life is never short of starting lines. Hope we all have this courage. It's time to re-examine 